Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is January the 2nd, um, and it is time for us to sell. Uh, so we're going to make some money. Uh, so the reason it's January the 2nd and not the 1st is because uh, when January 1st rolled around, the silage had actually dropped in price from... Uh, it actually dipped down a little bit here in January. However, it still shows that the highest price is 191 and the biogas plant will give us 193. Now, yesterday on January the 1st, it was, it was down to like 180 something or other. So, um, that's why I decided to go another day and we're probably going to actually wait till January 3rd before we sell pallets, because that'll give our greenhouses a chance to, you know, produce, pop out a couple more pallets. Okay. So uh, we're going to start with the silage. Now, um, let's first of all take a look at December's uh, financers. There's not really a whole lot to show you. We didn't buy anything new. <clears throat> um, I did build a couple of more bridges, which I'll show you. So that's what that money's from and a little bit of landscaping. Um, and that's uh, money was from selling uh, one of those bridges and then re resetting it down. Uh, vehicle running cost 6800 bucks. Vehicle leasing 172 This is for the roller that we still have that we're leasing to own. Property maintenance 1228 uh, Production cost 633 Sold bales um, in December. That was from the, the straw that we sold. Uh, sold products was from whatever it was that we sold in December, $55,000 in total. Uh, water cost six twenty, wage payment twelve sixteen. Miscellaneous. I didn't pay my worker again. I forgot to uh, for December, so we need to do that. Uh, loan interest eight thirty one. Delivery cost. Excuse me. Uh, for productions is that that must be new. Delivery cost for productions. Uh, I am on the latest version. The um the Giants did come out with a new update in preparation for the Platinum Edition. Had to update a bunch of my mods and tweak a couple things. This must be new, 296. Um, That must be a cost for distributing, you know, in uh, to the warehouse, I'm guessing. Um, so I'm guessing that's what that is. So we're, we're kind of low on money. Um, we will pay our worker for December, but because our money is super low at the moment, we're going to hold off on that just a little bit until we actually, you know, bump that back up. Okay, so um, I spent quite a bit of time, several hours, um, setting up auto drive courses. I was not able, however, to get auto drive to work with bales in terms of automatically loading or unloading. Uh, so I was able to get the courses set up. The driving will be automated, but I'm going to have to go uh, and do the loading and unloading um, you know, for the bales and likewise with the pallets too. I couldn't, I couldn't get it to work for the pallets either, uh, but it's still going to save us time, you know, cause I don't have to do any of the driving myself. I just have to teleport to each location, offload, teleport to the next location. So it's, you know, it's still going to be worth doing. Um, but it just doesn't do the loading and unloading. I think that's really designed only to work with stuff that's, you know, a product that's in a trailer like grain or, you know, manure or loose silage and that sort of thing. Uh, so, you know, that's pretty much where we're at with that. Um, so let's teleport over to um, where our our man truck is, which is right here. And I moved some of the silage, the two, you know, the sausages that I had sitting out here. I unwrapped them and moved them and put them in there. But that but our storage over here now is completely full. So I still have a few sausages left over here that, that we're going to take over first before we um, you know, start doing, doing things in earnest here. All right. So, um, actually, you know what I might do now that I think about it is I might get this guy going on auto drive and I'll, and I'll work the, the Anderson trailer to get the rest of the sausages. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. So let's go ahead and seems to, me, seems to me like I might be forgetting something, but I don't know what the heck it is. So, uh, anyway, we're starting off with $2,630. And uh, let's make ourselves some money. So we're going to go here. Now, um, this storage, even though I put round bales in, it actually lets me um, extract the bales in whatever format I want. Uh, so the 2.4 square bales give us the best bang for our buck on the flatbed trailer. 
we can essentially get 33 um, bales on the trailer. Whereas, whereas if we did the Anderson loader with the round bales, um, they're a little bit, you know, they're a thousand liters more, but you can only get 24 on A and B. Uh, it takes a much, much longer to load and unload. Um, so it makes the most sense for us to do the big square bales here. Now, this may be the last time we're going to use this, though, because my plan is, you know, to, to move into uh, fermenting silos and, and loose silage for next year. Okay, so anyway, let's click OK for that. And uh, this, this little interface has changed, too, with, you know, some of the mod updates. And we will offload uh, these square bales. And I will show you um, the auto drive course the first time or two, just so you kind of see what, what we got going on here. So let's start this up. And we'll start loading the bales. While that's going on, I'm going to turn on the course so you can see it. Okay, so that gives us a full... A load of 33 bales in total because there's 11 times 3 there, which is great. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, and the other thing too is, whoops, I uh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, the other thing too is that I can't, um, you know, there's different modes of auto drive. Uh, this is just drive to, you know, the target. Uh, this is a pick up and deliver. This is deliver. This is load. Um, this is unload the combine, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But none of these work properly with bales or pallets. So unfortunately, there's going to be a little bit more, you know, micromanaging on my part to do this. But I still think it's going to save us time, and it's going to be kind of fun too. Okay, so basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to tell this guy, and I've got hotkeys, you know, done marked to. In fact, here, let me show you this. So I've got folders here set up. So these are for selling bales. Okay, so this so the silage bale load is this target right here. Um, and then we ha I have one set up at the animal dealer and the two BGAs and Johnson's. Um, however, we don't really sell bales to Johnson's, though, but it's possible that we could, so that's why that's in there. And then I got a couple of for gas and repair because auto drive will automatically repair and refuel your vehicle uh, once it gets low. And then I have a couple set up for pallets. Um, but I didn't do any more than these because I wanted to wait and see what who's going to have the best price, and then we'll set up additional ones as needed. Okay, so those are our folders. Um, let's close that. And so I can either, you know, click here and select uh, BGA1, or I've got hotkeys, you know, that I can cycle through them too. So we're going to go BGA1 there, and I have a hotkey to start it. And we're going to just... Oh, that was weird. Uh, let him drive. Okay, so I'm hands-free. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> hold on. We're going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem here. Oh, was he actually going to go around that? No, he wasn't. Okay. I forgot I'd parked that dude right there. In fact, here, hold on just a second. Um, I can actually send him, now that I think about it, though, I can send this guy down there, too. In fact, why don't we do that? Why don't we go for you... Um, let's send you to BGA2, which is the further one out. Because, you know, he can at least drive there. But I'm going to have to, you know, do the unloading. But I'm going to have to do the unloading on this one, too. So it's, you know, kind of doesn't matter really one way or to other. Okay. So you go ahead and drive to BGA1. And, yeah, as you can see, I've, I've set up... You know, multiple courses kind of coming in and out of the property and hooking up stuff out on the road. In some places, it's a little bit of a of a, a spaghetti mess. Um, if I uh, if and when I do this again, by the way, if you'll notice the blue line there, that's a, a two way, so that means they can come in and out on, on that particular pathway there. But um, the next time I set something like this up, there's a couple of things that I'm going to do to make it a little less cluttered. Uh, like, for example, I was I was doing uh, lanes to turn off. See all this mess right here? Uh, for, for both 
you know, both lanes going both ways. So four, you don't really need to do that. If you just have the lane, like the outer lane merge into the inner lane for the turns, you can, you can do it that way. Um, but I had already kind of set a bunch of that up before that really had occurred to me. But it seems to work. I mean, from all the testing that I've done, it seems to work okay. And again, I'm not driving this. The guy's doing the driving itself. Okay, so it told me our first driver reached the BGA 2 point, and you can kind of see him off there in the distance. And we'll let uh, this one drive to BGA 1. And I tried, you know, like I said, I tried a few different things. Uh, there's settings that you can, you know, tell it to unload off the back or off the side. And I just, you know, I just couldn't get it to work right because I think auto drive is only designed to work with product that's inside of a trailer that can be tipped. Um, if there is a way to do it with bales and or pallets, uh, by all means, let me know in the uh, comments, but I wasn't able to figure that one out. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to jump out and jump into this guy real quick and start the engine. And I'm actually going to need to pull forward a little bit too. This should be good enough to offload. So let's get him offloaded. And we'll only have to do the, this with the Anderson trailer a few times until we get, you know, the rest of the sausages picked up. I'm curious to see, though, how much money we're going to make in one shot with these round bales. I'm guessing it's going to be around 30 grand. 33 grand, nice. Okay, cool. All right, now I'm going to tell this guy to... I should have actually set up another waypoint, but I'm going to use my hotkey, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, and I'm going to have him go back to uh, Red Marble MJ's Pallet Warehouse. Yeah, you know what? We need to. I'm going to need to set up another waypoint, so let's just send him back to here for the moment. Because one nice thing about um, Auto Drive is that if you have two vehicles destined for the same target, um, the the vehicle behind will queue up. He won't crash into him. He'll just wait till the other guy gets out of the way, which is really nice. Okay, cool. Now, for this one, we're just simply going to do that. And it's so wide that I can't get... See, that was 39,000, but we still even have um, two more. Uh, okay, so basically 41, almost 42,000 uh, when with one trailer load of this, which is which is really nice. Okay, so now for you, I'm I'm gonna also um, cycle through, whoops, um, and send you back to silage bale load as well, and he'll just drive himself right back and put himself in position so we can do the next load. Okay, while that's happening, let's jump back to this guy and let's turn off auto drive. Whoa, okay. <laughs> My steering wheel was uh, cranked all the way to the right. What we can do with he, with this guy uh, is create like a temporary waypoint that stages him next to the sausages. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to pull around this way. I'm, I'm really enjoying this auto drive, you guys. It's a lot of fun. It's just cool the things you can do with it. Hopefully, in you know, in the future, the uh, mod author will, you know, update it so that it'll work with bales and pallets and stuff like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come to this node here, and then we're going to record. Uh, no, sorry, uh, we're going to record a path, and I'm just going to join that up immediately. And basically, he's going to just kind of turn off here, and then pull around this way. And I'll just have him stage right here. Okay. Um, so we'll turn off the recording there. And we will create a target. And we'll just call this um, Sausage. And this is just temporary. Um, you know, I will... Um, we'll delete this, you know, after we get the sausages done. But that way I can send him to Sausage... And he's good to go. Now, let's also 
Uh, I could also... Uh, nah, yeah, I was going to say I could I could link him back up to the main track, but then that just means there's more nodes I'm going to have to delete later. So I think I'll just drive him and get him back on the main track when he's ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and open that up. And this guy should be pulling back around into position. Yep, he's there. That is <laughs> that's really nice, man. I love it. Hey, you know, the other thing, though, too, is I, I wasn't able to get the automatic bail load thingy to work. Um, if we, if we go into here and go all the way down to universal, I, I showed this to you guys the other day, control left shift R is supposed to do automatic bail collection mode. And it does work in the field. If I'm picking up bales off the field, this does work, but it doesn't seem to work, um, for, you know, for picking up bales from the drop off. So I'm going to actually, uh, here, let me get out of this. I'm going to press control, control shift R. Okay. And theoretically that should have put um you know automatic pickup mode on okay now let's just offload some bales but i don't think it's gonna work so we'll go silage uh, 2.4 squares just offload as many as you can yeah see it's not picking it up so for I, I guess that just doesn't work with these with this type of setup so what we'll do here is we'll get our buddy loaded up and then we'll send him on his way while we start working with the Anderson trailer. Excellent. Okay. So now we want to switch him to, um, BGA. It doesn't really matter here. We'll send him to BGA too, because both of them will work. And then there he goes. Okay. So we'll let him drive himself over there while we uh, work on getting the rest of this, the sausages taken care of. Okay, so let's open these up. And I've found the easy, either way, easy way to do that is it's the R key. is just to get on top and then walk across them and unwrap them like this. So I'm basically cutting them open with my pocket knife here. Um, since we're at it, let's do this one too. Let's get them all opened up. Good. Okay. Let's turn some lights on here. Yeah, yeah. Um, just have to wait. Uh, or I mean, this takes longer, obviously, than using the flatbed. So that's why I much prefer the flatbed with the large square bales. Uh, you can only put, I think it's 14 of these largest round bales on the flatbeds just because of the way they stack. So the square bales are much, much better from that standpoint. Okay, so our dude's there. Uh, we're just going to um, leave this guy here. Let's teleport. Actually, I think it's this one here and we will offload those bales looks like I could probably move that waypoint forward a little bit more but it doesn't matter because we still have to pick it up and drop it off one more time anyway excellent okay so now we will set him back to uh, silage bale and let him go Okay, we'll go back to you and keep loading these up. Now, once I get all the sausages done, um, I'm probably, uh, you know, I've got a second flatbed trailer because we purchased a second one. And I'm probably just going to lease a second man truck. And we'll just hang on to it for today and tomorrow so we can get two trucks rolling at the same time. I can't, unfortunately, I can't hook those flat net bed trailers up to, you know, tractors or to my pickup truck because the the front portion of it you know like the it's not really a gooseneck but it's just too too deep for anything else to connect to it it's too bad it didn't work with my pickup because then i could use the pickup it's got plenty of horsepower for it but it just doesn't quite hook up right i suppose if i got a dolly i could but i don't want to mess with the dolly because dollies are a pain in the butt man 
to back stuff up with. So yeah, this we'll get uh, another load and a half of the sausages here. Okay, so that's it for that. So all we got to do with this guy now is oh, can I do this? <laughs> Yeah, we should be able to do that. Okay, we just got to hook up. There's our boy. His red line to here. And then change his waypoint. Whoops, sorry. Uh, change his waypoint to BGA one's fine. Uh, no, actually, let's send him to two as well. And send him on his way. So, even though this, you know, isn't fully automated with loading and unloading, it's still pretty cool. Uh, and, you know, once we're done with the sausages and we get two man trucks running with two flatbeds, we should be able to move this product pretty quickly, at least compared to how long it used to take me to do. Man, it's, I, it would be so cool if we could figure out a way for him to load it, too, but... This isn't bad. Oh, yeah, so you can see... You can see that I put two more of the wooden bridges in. The wooden bridges are actually a lot less expensive. They're like only 550 bucks, I think. Whereas that that green lizard metal bridge is five thousand uh, dollars. So I bought a couple more of those just so it would be easier, you know, to drive across here. And yeah, so there we go. All right, so a 2.4. Get a couple more loaded here. There we go. And then again, we set him to BGA one and send him on his way. Okay, let's teleport to you. And I'm actually going to just take over from here now. Okay, and we'll offload. And I'm going to send you to Sausage as soon as the bales are off. <clears throat> um, okay, I guess I guess he's waiting for that to fold up before he'll take off because it is on. I think that's what he's doing. There he goes. Okay, cool. All right, we'll just wait here for the man to show up. He should be coming around the corner here any moment. So, yeah, this is working out pretty good overall, you know. There is a spot. <laughs> He's driving like a maniac. Uh, there is a spot where these this does cross over. So if that causes a problem, I might have to uh, do something different. Um, you, as you can see, I, I kept his path over off the road a little bit so if they were going by each other they'd have room but yeah so he's going to go to BGA 1 as soon as he stops we'll offload and that should take all but the last two Okay, and just put those back on and then offload them again. Uh, we sent him back to... I should have gone the other direction because it would have been faster. Silage bale load and send him on his way. Cool. Okay, back to our sausage loader. He's just following his path to the target. As soon as he gets there, I'll turn off the auto drive and take control. All right, cool. So, yeah, we're going to have one more load and then just a little bit here. You should see the man coming up the road here in just a little bit. So, it's quite a bit of work to set this up, but, man, I'll tell you what, once you get it set up... It's so much better than the AI. 
However, that being said, uh, one of the things in the patch notes from the last release was that was AI improvements. Now I don't know exactly what that means, um, but apparently they've done something to improve the AI. And I, I'm not like I said, I don't know what the specifics of that are, but still, or what that is rather. But still, this is this is pretty slick. I gotta say. And you know, if, once we were moving product in trailers like grain and you know loose silage and manure and whatever, you know, then we can also automate the loading and unloading too, and make it even better. But I'm pretty happy so far with with how it's working. Here comes the man. He's the man. Let's go ahead and turn the nodes off now. Don't need to keep those on for the moment. I just wanted to kind of show you guys the the pathways for the first couple of shots here. Okay, let's hop over to him. And load up. I'm gonna take all of those. Ah, oh, one, one more to go. Okay. There we go. All right. And let's set him to BGA two and send him on his way. So yeah, this was an interesting way to do the silage this year. If I wasn't going to do fermenting silos, I might still do it this way, but I don't know. I mean, it, it had it had its pros and cons, that's for sure. The biggest hassle, of course, is, you know, just having to deal with making the sausages and then you know, after making them, you know, then having to come along and do this. Yeah, we have three more that we can't do. So, but it was, it was kind of fun to just do it, you know, just to kind of experience it. All right. So, so we don't need to turn the splines on. We just need to get more or less in the vicinity of where they are. And then, um, we want to send you to BGA one and there he goes. Okay. So I'm going to actually just take over for him now, since we're kind of caught up. Whoa, slow down, Nelly. Overshot that a little bit. Oh, look at that. That was perfect. <laughs> right on the money. $41,824 for one load. That's some pretty good money. We're already up to $238,000. That's crazy. That is awesome too, man. All right. We'll just get you out on the road here. And we just want to set you back to silage bale load. Go do your thing, man. And we'll take over for... Our buddy here. So once we get the other man leased, in fact, here, we can do that right now. Let's just go uh, trucks. I, I'm not going to get a Mac. I'm going to get a man mo only because, even though these are cheaper, only because I did all of the auto drive with the man. And, you know, since these are a little bit longer, that might throw things off a little bit. So it's not going to make a huge difference. It'll be a little more expensive, but I think we can handle it. So 6630. Okay. And I, you know, I just leased it as the default green color so that way I can tell mine from the leased one easily. Okay. So I'll just drive this until it completely folds cuz he he'll wait otherwise. And then we'll send him back on his own while we go um, get the 
Well, I guess we, yeah, we have three more bales we gotta pull over here too, so. All right, so we'll just put you out here and tell you to go to sausage. Uh, which is, I think, back this way. Yep. Okay. Now, um, let's get... <coughs> let's get the new, uh, or the rented truck here. And we'll hook up to the other flatbed trailer. <coughs> Got something in my throat. I can actually lean my head out the window to hook that up. It's really cool. Kind of like a truck simulator, which, by the way, I need to start truck simulator back up to him. I may am planning on doing that. Especially now that I got my big monitor back and the head tracking set back up and all that. Okay, so we're going to just stage you right over here behind the first truck. And actually, you know what we can do, now that I think about it, is we can tell him to go to silage bale unload, or load, rather. And what he'll do is he'll just queue up behind this guy. Cool. All right. Now, let's load up here. Excellent. We got just the right amount. Okay, so we want to send you to BGA2 because the other guy's going to be right behind you. Now, he'll pull up, and while he's doing that, we can get some more bales offloaded. This is fun, man. I love it. Okay. Start loading. And now we send you to BGA one. Okay, let's get the rest of uh, the well, the the remaining three sausage or si uh, bleh, round bales, and then we'll be done with this, and then we we'll just work the flatbeds. I'll probably just drive him all the way over there directly. Okay, let's pull this guy over here so he's out of the way. Okay, and then we will offload here. And send you back to silage bale load. And do the same thing with this guy. Oh, I gotta... Oh. Okay, it picked some of them up. Uh, and we need to change the load side to, the, to this side. So that's just the U key. There we go. And you go back to silage bale load as well. See ya. Once that guy gets out of the way, we'll back this guy up and drop off these final three bales here. He's even got his turn signal on. Look at that guy. What a responsible driver. Okay. 
So I'm going to go park um, the tractor and the Anderson trailer and then the rest of our silage sales will just be the two man trucks uh, going back and forth. Uh, so I think we'll go ahead and montage the rest of this. Hope you guys enjoy the montage and the music and I'll see you when we're all done selling silage. guys this is the final drop off and we are now at six hundred nine thousand seven hundred forty three dollars uh, let's get our dude heading back to excuse me uh, the, uh, the the farm while we look at some of this stuff uh, are you gonna make that corner yep you are all right so let's go into here and look at our money and we basically made six hundred fifteen thousand four hundred sixty two dollars off of bales um but the reason we have less money than that of course is because we had to pay our workers and i don't think either one of them went to repair or refuel though so yeah that's really good money and that actually took way less time than it has in the past too um, I mean, I started recording, oh, I don't know, about 40 minutes ago. And, uh, you know, only had a very small amount of off-camera time. So, you know, it used to take me, I don't know, probably I'd say, where are you going? Oh, I bet you he's going to repair. He's going to make that corner. <laughs> yeah, he's going to repair. That's what he's doing. 
Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it, it probably took me, I don't know, two and a half to three hours of real time in the past to sell all of the silage. Wait a minute. I don't know what he's doing. And this time it took me maybe an hour. And it would have even... Oh, he's going to get caught here. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that. Um, here, let's just undo that. And it would have taken even less time if, you know, if I wouldn't have had to deal with the sausages first. So that just went super smooth. I mean, we could have even run, you know, three three trucks maybe but you know it, since it costs over six thousand dollars to lease a man truck and and i would have had to lease a third trailer that probably wouldn't have been economical to do but we could have i mean in terms of just the uh, auto drive being able to support it we could have done that so that would have been cool um you know what i'm actually gonna do i'm gonna stop here and pull in and get some fuel in this thing so yeah, that's really good money, you guys. 609000 off the bales alone. And then tomorrow we're going to do the pallets. And that's also going to uh, give us some nice bank. I don't know if we're going to clear a million. We'll see. Because, you know, we got that we got that bank loan we got to pay off, which we're going to do today, so we don't have to pay any more interest. Uh, in fact, let's just do that right now. There's no reason not to. So... We still owe the bank 250 grand. Let's pay that off and we are debt free. There we go. And that still leaves us $359,000 after paying off the bank loan. Fantastic. Okay, so yeah, tomorrow um and also tomorrow in real life because it'll be the next episode for you guys. We will sell our pallets, and we're also going to have some other smaller uh, batches of product to sell in January, too. I know we, can eat, we, we need to sell chocolate, for example, and I don't know, a couple other things. So we'll, we won't, I won't be using, of course, you know, the big flatbed trailers for that. Uh, we'll use the smaller tra trailer for the, you know, single load stuff. And I, I, I didn't auto set up any auto drive courses for that because I'll just do it myself. Um, the auto drive come it, you know where it really comes in handy is when you have to do multiple loads like we did today um but if it's just you know one load of chocolate you know to mama joe's or whatever that there's no point in auto driving that because i'll just do it myself uh, but anyway i'm very pleased with how this went down all you know all together all things considered so yeah very happy with that and uh so i hope you guys enjoyed the episode too so i'm gonna let you go here I'll bring you back uh, in the next episode on January the 3rd. And we will sell our pallets and then see... Oh, I'm hitting the wrong key there. We'll see where we end up. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.